From the ancient Incas to the Pirates of the Caribbean to modern times, Liar's Dice has been the best bluffing dice game around, and you should know it. It's part of the Playing Games Essential Dice Game series. Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to Playing Games. Please comment, like, and subscribe. This channel is excellent, no lie. As seen on the Dead Man's Chest installment of Pirates of the Caribbean, Liar's Dice is believed to have been invented by the Inca, and the oldest known name that the Europeans used was either Dudo or Perudo. We don't know the Inca name. Whatever its origins, Liar's Dice European popularity spiked during the time of the Conquistadors. And given the known history of the Conquistadors, it wouldn't be unlikely that they stole this game, along with all the other things they stole. Objective. The objective of Liar's Dice is to be the last player with dice remaining. Each player starts with five dice and a cup to conceal their rolls. Liar's Dice is best played with four or more players, so let's look at a four-player style game here. We have four sets of five dice for each player. And I put a colored die for each group so we can differentiate. So what'll happen is each player will have a cup, and we'll put our dice in the cup. And everybody shuffles their dice in the cup and flips it over. Now your dice are just for you to look at. You can't look at anybody else's and very carefully look under the cup. All four sets of these would be covered and we would look at our dice. And what you want to pay attention to is how many of a specific number you have. So in the case of me here, I have three threes, so I can bid high up on threes. I know that I have a lot of those. Don't have a lot of fives or twos. This player has a lot of sixes and threes, sixes and ones. Look at three ones right there. And we have two fives, a two, a three, and a six for this player. Imagine that I go first. I would say, um, I think on the table there are three threes. I know that I have three threes. Nobody, if somebody says you're a liar and I have to reveal my dice here, I would know that I'm safe. So the next player then has to up the ante. They have to add more to that. They can't say three threes, but they could say four threes. And they have two threes here. We're guessing on how many threes there are on the whole table, not just in front of us. I would assume that there are more than just my three threes here on the table. I would assume that someone else has a three. So if threes come back around and I can and I have to say six threes, then I, I'm probably safe at that point. So this player, knowing that they have two threes, I bid three threes, they would assume that I have some threes, they'll say four threes. This player has no threes, so they could either say five threes, they could call this person a liar and make us all reveal our dice and see if there are that many threes, which there probably are at least four threes on the table and there certainly are, or they could up the ante. They could say four fours. Now they don't have any fours, so that might be risky. What they can't say is two sixes, even though they have two sixes, because four threes is 12. Two sixes is also 12. If they're going to use sixes, they would have to say three sixes because that's more than 12. And that's what they'll do. They'll say three sixes. Now this person has just one six. This person bid three sixes. They'll feel confident to say, okay, four sixes and I have to keep going up. Since six is the highest number on any of the dies, I have to go higher than four sixes here. So I'll say five sixes. Now this player could call me out on that. I don't have that. I don't know how many sixes there are. I can't see these other people. I've said five. They have two. They can assume that there's that many. And they'll say, okay, fine, six sixes. Now this player has to either say seven sixes or call this person a liar. You're gonna to get to a point where it's just impossible for the number to be that high. And they'll do that. They'll say, you're lying. These would have been covered. So at that point, we're going to reveal all of the dice at once. Everybody pulls their cups. And we have to see if they were lying or telling the truth. Are there six sixes? Well, two, four, five. There are not six sixes. So this person was lying. Whether they knew it or not, they were lying. There, was, there are not six sixes. So they must remove one die from the table. And that's gone. So now we all put our dice back in our cups. We reshuffle them and start again. So since this player lost a die, they get to go first. That's an advantage going first because you're not gonna be called out as a liar. Threes here, a four and a six, they'll say two threes. They feel that's safe, they have that. Next player could say, well, okay, three threes. This player could say four threes because they have one. I have a bunch of threes, I'll say, I'll say six threes. Six threes sounds a little fishy and this player could call me out on that and say, I don't think so. There can't be six threes, let's reveal all of our dice. 
Okay. Three here. Two there. One there. One there. That happens to be six threes. So this player would be stuck again with losing a die because they challenged me and they were wrong. And play will continue like this until players are slowly eliminated and there are just two players left and they go head to head. So it's just myself and the person across from me. And now it's gonna get trickier because the numbers are gonna be much lower. I would say, oh, one, one. You know, I'm lying here, but I know that that's a low enough number to get away with. They would say one, three. I could say, oh, well, they have a three, two threes. They would say, hmm, how about two fours? Well, I have a four, so I might feel confident about that. I'm not going to say three fours because it's unlikely there are three fours. I could say, well, two fives. And they would probably call me out on that. They don't have a five. I probably don't have two fives. So we would reveal ours. Are there two fives there? There are no fives there. I'd be down a die. And then we would go again. This time I get to go first, but I'm in a really tough spot here because I only have a six. That does put me at a good advantage though, because I could say one six, I get to go first. I lost the last die, one six. Well, they have no sixes. They have to bid higher than six to continue, or they can call me a liar. And if they're smart, they would probably call me a liar here because what are the chances that I have the six? We reveal, ah, I have the six. They didn't want to bid two sixes, they would be called out easily. So now they have to remove a die. And we go face to face with one die a piece. Okay, they lost, they could start the bid. And if they're smart, they'll say one five. Well, I have, a, I have nothing higher than five. Uh, I could say two fives and hope that they think that I also have a five. I could say one six and that's what I'll do. I'll say one six and they have to make the choice here. Am I lying or am I telling the truth? They probably look me in the eye and, and ask me, are you, you know, are you sure about that? And I'll say, yeah, I'm sure I have a six. And then they would call me out, liar. I don't have a six, I'm out. And this is the winning player here. That's it. And then after that, you just give five dice back to everybody. You start all over again and play the game. And that's liar's dice variations. In some gameplay, if you call a liar out and it's not your turn, and you're wrong, you lose two dice rather than one. The liar would only lose one still. Final thoughts. Liar's Dice is an excellent game for parties and family game night. You'll want to play with around four or more people as it creates more drama. I also love that Liar's Dice is not a packaged game. That said, you will have to have quite a few dice to play it. If you have a Tenzi set, you should be okay. You can also learn how to play that game right here. I can't recommend Liar's Dice enough. It's everything a good bluffing game should be. And all it needs is a bunch of dice, some cups, and a table full of liars. Please help this channel grow by liking, subscribing, and commenting. Also help support the hard work that goes into these videos by digitally donating. You are great.